In this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how to reorder a generate blocks query loop by a date field. And this can be either an advanced custom fields date field, or like in our case here in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you using the date field built into PyCalendar. So here I have this example set up and on the right side we have this event calendar that's generated by PyCalendar, which is the plugin I co-developed. And then we have the generate blocks query loop with our list of posts. Now we can see that we have the date field here and they're out of order. So it goes January 3rd, then February 23rd, February 18th. And so that doesn't actually match the calendar view here. If we clicked on January 3rd, then we can see it is the puppy pamper days. But then if we clicked on the second one, it's actually the senior dog special, which is all the way down here. Of course, that can happen whenever you create posts in different orders that perhaps have different days or maybe things like dates change over time. But what we wanna do is make sure that the query loop here matches our event calendar. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of our Pi Calendar posts here, and we can see that we'll just edit any old post. On the right hand side, we have this calendar section that's generated from Pi Calendar, and there's the start date and the end date. So, what we're going to do is tell our query loop to actually look at this field here. So, it's going to check that it's January 3rd at 10 a.m., and then it will order all of the posts by this start date field instead of when they were actually created in WordPress. So, what we want to do here is the first thing we need to do is on our homepage, we're going to open up our query loop and on this grid, we need to give this a class because our custom code we're gonna add here in just a minute will look at the class name and make sure that it reorders the correct query loop. So in the advanced tab here, we'll just scroll down and in the additional CSS classes area, we're just gonna type in order hyphen by hyphen PyCal. This can be anything you want. You just need to keep track of what this is because we're gonna need it in just a moment. One other thing here is that you can see that there's a bit of a difference in the back end with the way the date is formatted here versus how we saw it in kind of the more conventional format on the front end. And that's just to do with the way PyCalendar stores date fields, but you can use the link in the description to find this little bit of custom JavaScript I'm using to reorganize it on the front end for you. So now that we have that custom class, what we're gonna do is go ahead and switch over to this plugin called WP CodeBox. This is where we're gonna add our custom code, but you could also use a custom functionality plugin that's free like code snippets, or you could add it to your child theme functions.php as well. Any of those options are totally fine. Now, what code do we actually wanna add? Well, Generate Blocks actually gives us a couple of different examples here to reorganize the query loop. So we're gonna scroll down and we can see that there is the numeric values option. This would be just for like a number field. If for some reason you had a post that needed to be ordered by numeric values, text values for alphabetical. And then in our case, we're gonna do the date values one. So we're simply going to copy this, stick this in your custom code area of choice. And what we wanna do here is change the class name that this code is looking for you. So you can see it says order by priority, where we made ours order by PyCal like that. Then the next thing that we need to do is change the meta key here. So if we set it as priority, it's not gonna do anything because that's not the name of our meta key. In the case of PyCalendar, it is underscore PyCal underscore start underscore date. Of course, you could also change this to end date if you wanted to reorganize by your PyCal end date for whatever reason. And then that's all we need to do. We'll simply save this and I forgot to give this a title. We'll just call this reorder query loop. We'll save this and then turn it on. And now let's go take a look. And just like that, you can see that the order is now correct. So the, the second one here is senior dog special, then Valentine's Day, then the winter coat on February 18th, bath and brush bash, that's a tongue twister, on the 23rd. So again, if we clicked on January 7th now, we're going to see the senior dog special, which matches our second item here in the list. So this is extremely handy to reorganize by a date field where you don't have to go move around the posts or use an additional plugin like the ones that allow you to drag and drop. And especially if you're using a custom field from PyCalendar or ACF, this will allow you to use that to organize your posts rather than the WordPress date. If you're not already a member here on the channel, please consider clicking the join button. You get access to videos a week early. And of course it helps me make more videos like this in the future. If not, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. And otherwise I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.